We're here with Rainbow Kitten Surprise, which is, by the way, the best band name ever. When I first started playing you guys in this new music show, I was like, please don't let them suck. So I was really glad that you guys were good. And I don't know, do you ever check when somebody does like an Instagram tribute to you guys? Because I did. Um, there's a couple fan pages with probably like uh, 20 followers. You know, I, I definitely see them when they follow me, but I don't follow them back. Right. Uh, not yet anyway. You know, once they start posting some juicy content, then, then we're talking. Now I know what to do. I'll have to post some juicy content. <laughs> Thanks for, for hanging out with us. I know it's early. Um, there's still what, two other band members who are asleep right now. Vampires like me. So where did you guys just come from? Uh, we just came from uh, St. Louis Obispo. San Luis Obispo. Oh, yeah. and you played Lollapalooza too, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, a couple of days ago. How was that? Good times. Was, was good. it? Mm-hmm. What do you like about the Bay Area, if anything? Um, it's cool. Uh, it's uh, you got a bridge. Looks nice. <laughs> um, it's absolutely beautiful here. Yeah, truly. Where did you guys form as a band? Where did you guys all meet? Um, Boone, North Carolina, at uh, at App, App State University. We all met in the same dorm and just kind of started jamming. And who came up with the name? Uh, our friend Noah. Does anyone like kittens or rainbows, or how did that name come about? Because it really does sound like the best thing ever, Rainbow Kitten Surprise. I mean, surprise. I think uh, it's three of the best things in, in our language put together, so you can't really go wrong. How did this new album come about? Do you guys write collectively, or like? Well, um, I sort of started spitballing um, ideas onto you know, a piece of printer paper with a Sharpie while we were on tour. And then got home and I was just playing along with them because I was getting into like organ and organ sounds at the time. And uh, pretty much everybody came in and was like, uh, we don't know what the organ fetish is, mm -hmm. but uh, the songs sound good. So like, let's roll with that. And we just started jamming on them and worked it out. Free Fall is one of my favorite songs on the album. And also I really like Hyde. And I was wondering if you could tell me about that because I read something about it that I didn't realize the song was about. I don't know if it's true. Which song? Sorry, the hide or hide? It said um, it was the article that I read. This is a while back. Was saying that like it was an anthem for LGBT. Uh, I think. I, well, no, I was gotcha. like, was it? It, no, no, no. I think I think it was. Uh, it was never meant to be an anthem. Oh, okay. It was definitely kind of the first song I wrote when I was kind of working through some stuff in my life. You know about you know sexuality or what what whatever you call it um you know and so i wrote that and at the time actually i thought like this is to use like male pronouns in a song is kind of a statement and i don't know if everybody's ready for that so i sat on it for about two years until we didn't have something else to track in the studio and we just started jamming and it just kind of came out you know like uh we were ready yeah I guess I guess so. Yeah, everybody was cool about it. So yeah, and the song was ready to be heard, but yet so yeah, it has become somewhat of an anthem, especially in San Francisco. I mean, it's a great song. Nice. But I think that's awesome that you hung on to it for that long until you were comfortable with it because it's really beautiful. That's uh, I think that's the way a lot of things go in uh, for people like you know, me I guess uh, sort of. There's not a, a hugely accepting culture for that. It's getting a lot better. It's 2018, mm -hmm. right? Um, <clears throat> but definitely, like, where I grew up, it was a hush-hush thing right. to, uh, to come out. So, you know, like, a lot of people stay closeted for their entire lives. And some people stay closeted and don't even know that they are, you know. But uh, I don't know. I, I think, I think for, for me now, looking back on it, I'm just hoping that, like, it's... Um, that we're just past the binary at this point and we could just like roll with it. Right. You, maybe you could say whatever pronouns you want to use in the song and use several in the same song. You know what I mean? Right. Like he, she, who, who cares? Since so it know? doesn't matter. It's right. the feeling it has yeah, nothing, it's, it's exactly. literally nothing exactly. to do right. with who it's about. So that's very, that's very forthcoming. Do you put that much of yourself in, in all of your lyrics or is that song special? Well, I'm, I mean, I'd say you have to put that much of yourself, even if you're not entirely comfortable with it when you're putting it down. Because it's like, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's the only thing that resonates with people is 
that level of honesty, I guess. Yeah. That's the only thing that resonates with these guys is when I'm being honest. Well, thank you so much. I think it's a great song, and I think it's a great album, and I really can't wait to see you guys perform today. Nice. Thank, thank you. you for talking to us. Awesome. Of course.